Yo, yo, what up? Final sign. The end. The end. It, the end. Ooh. What's up? What up? Let's get to it, y'all. What's going on? Finals. Pretty good tournament. I feel like every game was almost every game was good. Um, it's looking slow for a lot of people. Let's go. <laughs> looking slow for a lot of people, but you know, um, I guess my first question before we go into the predictions is, um, quick, let me let me shout out our sponsor, Gold Peak. Gold Peak. <laughs> Gold Peak. <laughs> our sponsor. Sponsors, Blue Hill Live. <laughs> 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 Very tasty. Very tasty. I go be. All right, go ahead. What, <laughs> what would be the Blue Hill Eye? What would the Blue Hill Eye? What would that look like? Being sponsored for Blue Hill Eye. <laughs> That's wild. That's wild. What is happening on Blue Hill Eye? Castlegate, Castlegate Road. Castlegate <laughs> Road. All kinds of Lawrence Ave. Sponsored by Morton Street, Gallivan Projects. <laughs> Sponsored by Off of Quincy Street. Oh, Just Off of Quincy Street. <laughs> well, hold up. If we're doing that, then it's got, we, we got to shout out Six Marcella Street. Oh, six specifically. God. 31 Almont <laughs> off, off, off Blue Hill. Shout out to Six right, Marcella so cool. let's, go, let's go. Half these people don't know what we're talking about. No, no, that's all right. They should get a, they should get a compass. <laughs> <laughs> Get y'all lives together. Some of these people's GPS don't go don't go in that direction. They don't go to Boston. Right? <laughs> Boston not even that bad. You know, All right, let's go. I don't want to get beat up. Okay, we going five to one. Or yep. one to five. five to one. That's fine with me. Five to five one. Five to one. Girls Division Five. Husack Valley. Versus West Boston. I was actually shocked that West Boston beat Palmer. Mm. I mean, how do you beat the um the the the, the lotion brand? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um yeah, Husak Valley, number one seed for girls, number one seed for boys in D5. I'm going with them. I think I'm gonna go with uh Hoosack Valley for the girls. I think I, I think I think we we're learning something for them. They remind me of um the Millis run years ago when the Millis girls and boys won it. Mm -hmm. So I, I I I can see where this is going, but I'm gonna give the girls that Hoosack Valley girls. Uh, same same thing for me too. I, I I've actually been doing some research just about the area out there um, as much as you can find on Wikipedia and stuff like that. I'm going with, uh, I'm going with Boosack Valley on the girls' side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with y'all. Bet. Bet, bet. Okay. Girls Division 4. <laughs> I, I, I'll go first. Let me just get my soliloquy out. <laughs> <laughs> look we out real uh hey, go to D4, go of D4. D4 I'm, um, first. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna go on record as saying um hey first and foremost, Julie, good had glad you good to join us, man. Appreciate you for I being here. I didn't know y'all started. <laughs> um D4 girls, it's let's call it what it is. It is the Cathedral High School Open. I've been saying that. For the past many times he's won it. Um, congratulations to Bronco. I'm telling you early on getting your sixth state title. Um, You're wild. I, right now. I, I went. I went last year, and he was up fifty, up almost fifty at half. Same thing is going to happen again this Sunday. He's going to be close to went by fifty, probably went by 40, 30 range. Um, so congrats to them on picking Cathedral. I mean, who's going to pick an upset? Not me. 
I mean, I'm all I'm all set. Like, it's not like I know people complain about Cathedral being in D four or whatever. They're in. It's not like they don't play up during the year. Um, you know, would I like to see them play for a? Uh, I think the. I think the only city team, I guess they're like a 0.5 city team. Um, only city team that that has won in the D, in D1 was never. So, like, I think, like, you know, we want to see that from that perspective. I want to see them um, move up divisions. But, hey, just keep beating people until somebody kick you out. Shoot. I might have been still coaching if I stayed in D4. Since so 2000, whatever, 2007. Shoot, I'll be on 17 straight in D4. Uh, or at least 15 out of 17. But I ain't mad because they play up. So shout out to Bronco. He about to get one. Yeah. He he could he could have all they gotta do is get on the bus. And this is no disrespect to South Hadley. But all right, it might be a little disrespectful to South Hadley. But like it is. <laughs> well, we gotta give you the disclaimer. I mean, all, what, right what I am like, what I am gonna give you, South Hadley. Is that like shout out to the Hearst? <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're gonna give you a disclaimer, South Hadley. Shout out to shout out to Amber. Oh man, respect, shout respectfully. Out to your it's a respect. Right, respectfully. Respectfully. Has anybody got a non cathedral prediction so we can move on? Nah, not even. I, listen, I, who does? I do not. However, when I walked into the game the other day, I went to the cathedral semifinal. I didn't even look up at the scoreboard, and I could just tell by the atmosphere in the gym. When I looked up, it was 14 nothing, And I was just like, wow. Like, I wasn't even expecting that. Like, I don't know why I wasn't expecting it, but I wasn't expecting it to be that significant <laughs> that early. So, Cathedral, Bronco, we, we, I, I spoke to Bronco, actually, a couple of days ago. Um, oh, actually, right after his game. He knows how I feel. Yeah. You got to give, you got to give the ring to Cathedral. Mail it in. Okay, D three girls. Yo, this I'll tell you one thing. Cathedral is the used to be the biggest lock to win the championship in the whole tournament, boys and girls. The biggest lock to win a championship this weekend is Foxborough girls. Oh yeah, they've hmm. been handing out biscuits left and right. <laughs> right, no butter, dry mouth, all that. Right, <laughs> handing them out. Right, I don't know. You know, Norwell was you know was was cool with, with, when they had um the soccer player, the girl who plays soccer, who's really good, Katie, I think. Um, yeah, we're good then. But what are you guys, the Clippers? Sorry, Clippers. <laughs> Y'all about to get clipped. You got a uh, shot. <laughs> no, with, you got I mean, Norwell. For being there without, you know, one one of their better players left the school and is, is playing elsewhere now, and they they haven't missed a beat. Not one of their better player, their best player. So I mean, you know, but yeah, Foxborough Cam Cam over there, she's tough. She, as Yuli says, she's a superstar. He always says that about her. So uh, I got to go with Foxborough as well. Yeah, I think it's unanimous, Foxborough. Um, should be competitive first two quarters. I think when we get to the third, it might, it might get a little crazy. So Foxborough for me. I want to disagree with y'all so bad, but. <laughs> how many seasons, uh, um, how many seniors do they have? Because I was looking forward to catching this year and obviously I missed out this year, but I wouldn't mind catching a game next season. Mm. They saw it next year regardless. Oh wow. wow! Yeah, they should be. They got great coaching over there. They got great little town program over there. Travel program. They, they, they're going to be solid for a while. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing uh, Cathedral Greens for for Saturday. By the way, <laughs> already. <laughs> already, you're a super yeah. fan. <laughs> they play Sunday at 12. Game will be over at 12.05 when they're up oh. like <laughs> <laughs> Got the violin, bro. Uh, no, you're not. Violence. No, you uh, D, D2 you girls lie. championship, Medfield versus South. Now, this is where this is where it gets a little tricky. Woo. 
Is that right. you from South? South High? What's the I'm South? Gonna go first. I'm going to go first. So I told you my team to watch. When you ask team to watch, teams to watch, I pick what's the South. Um, I'm going to be front and center. I can't wait to watch these kids play. Um, I think it's going to be a struggle. I, I, you know, I, I, I think the length of the floor, as I said before, is going to bother both teams. And, you know, South likes to get up and down. I'm I'm gonna stick with my pick though. I'm I'm going with what's the South, uh, and I, personally I would like to see them win it. Um, so I am a little biased on this one, but uh, yeah, they bring a they just they bring a brand of basketball I enjoy watching. I'm going I'm with South Medfield. Uh, I I can't I, argue with you. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with uh, Medfield is usually usually good every year. Um, but. You know, with with the help of Marcel, I think I've kind of did my little research on South on South High. I want to see South pull it off. I'm um, I heard they're good. I want to see it front and center and live for myself. I haven't seen them all season, so definitely want to see them Sunday. But I'm choosing them to win it. Tough. I'm I'm actually gonna go with South. I'm I'm actually gonna try to support the city of Worcester because, like I said, what I saw last year with North. And there's a good possibility they might do it again. And it's just a vibe, man. So I'm rooting for the underdogs on this one. So the bad weather city <laughs> with all them hills. Literally the reason I didn't go to college out there is because of that. Yeah, what's the South, man? I love the way they play. You know, they go fast, they play fast, they they, you know, they got good coaching. Um I got Medfield by like eighteen. Yeah, what? I agree. Uh, Med- Med- Medfield he's wins crazy, by ten man. <laughs> You know, he's crazy, man. That's a tw- that's I, I, I don't, I piece, don't blame you. I don't blame you. You know what I mean? Um, I, Med- I, I don't even think the game's gonna be close. No, no, no. Um, yeah. If you're from Worcester, you want to be mad at me? I don't got nothing to lose. <laughs> I'm not mad at you. Okay. No. Yo. Right. I don't know. That's crazy, bro. That's a 20 piece, bro. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. McNuggets, too. <laughs> All the sauces. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Polynesian sauce, <laughs> filet but, but sauce, it, honey mustard. All the sauces. And rotches, man. <laughs> <laughs> What's the sauce is going to have to reach their gold peak? In order to- <laughs> yeah, reach that gold peak, brother. You know what? <laughs> And- I want. I would like. I would like to see y'all win because you know y'all got y'all a hood adjacent. But like, <laughs> he said hood adjacent. <laughs> uh, but I'm also like, I know, I know what the reality is, man. Um, D1 girls. Here's my thing. I think this is the best game. I think it's gonna be one of the best games. I'm gonna miss it because I'm not there till Saturday and Sunday. But damn, I'll be you, there. You sit and Bishop Fian. First of all, Bishop Fian thinks the MIAA is a joke because they must be. They're out here whipping teams. They got the. They're out here. They're out here beating teams down. <laughs> they're out here got coaches begging them to let them score. <laughs> Man, B- Bishop, like I like what you sit. But I really do. They beat they beat my favorite team in D one Springfield Central. It took a lot to beat them. Um, I just don't know how. What I don't know what kind of game plan they're gonna have to have to to beat Bishop Fian. Like Bishop Fian hates offense. They just want to play defense and turn Corey, it over Corey, and Corey. like go score. Corey, it's not. Well, it's well, it's yeah, Yuli. Tell him. Tell him. Yuli. On, on February seventeenth, Wachusett sure. beat Bishop Feehan seventy six forty five. Great, right. wonderful, wonderful. That's sure. great and all. I know that, but guess <laughs> what? When you when a team gets hot, that changes. That, that changes. Yo, you gotta get your stride at the right time. I like Wachusett. I really do. Hey, I don't know how Feehan. I don't know how they beat Feehan. I'm coming back to you. With with that same mindset when we get to D one boys, all right. So I don't know how they, don't know so, how they do it. So I got to choose it by twenty. Mm. I, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna I gotta salute the the Catholic schools and uh, Bishop Finn. 
Wachusas is always finding themselves either in the Elite Eight, Final Four, or to this game, right? But oh, they're not a Catholic school, though. No, no I'm just saying I'm giving. I, I'm going with. Oh, you're I'm giving them. You're giving their props. Their, their, yeah. Their props, but. I mean, salute to Catholic schools. And Bishop Fian always produces a very tough girl program. Facts. For as long as I can remember. Facts. I remember it was them and Coyle Cassidy at one point when Coyle was tough. Yep. So I'm not going to pick against them. So I'm taking Bishop Fian. Uh, who's up, me? Mm -hmm. You know what's funny? So for years, I think I was one of the first on the Wachusett boat, um, boys and girls side. I I, I want to pick Wachusett. Um, I saw Fian the other night. They pretty much, they ran through Woburn, who is actually really good. The big with the last name Carthy, same as Corey. She, she's she's tough. Um, I think this is going to go, I'm going to do it one more time, Wachusett. So I'm going to go with you guys, but this would be like year three that I picked you early. From, I mean, from the early onset of the season, um, you got to pull through with me. So I'm uh, for me. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Wachusett in this game. I I got it as a six point game, regardless of who wins the game. Mm. Mm. Fred, uh, yeah, I might go with Bishop. Man. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah, go with Bishop fan. Yeah, yeah. I mean. I mean, you can't go wrong with either program. Yeah, you right? can't. You can't. Yeah, I, just yeah. that, I, I just think that's crazy. I see, I see the Brookline guy. I see the Brookline guy shaking his head. They <laughs> won by thirty-one the first Yo, time they played. What does that? Mean? Yeah, but what does that mean? <laughs> All right. Somebody, <laughs> somebody could have. Nah. Oh, this was this was more of a. Pride. I think this one done of a down pride. Pride, pride kicks in, man. Yeah, I I think this is more of a pick 'em, but I'm like I said, I'm picking Bishop Fian. They've been running a very strong girls program for over ten years, if not longer. I was when I remember when it was a competitive Catholic school league with them, Coyle Cassidy, um, down in that area, Stang at one point. Um, so they've always had strong girl programs down there. I'll stick to Bishop Fian. Nothing against Wachusett because they're always around, but I got. I yeah, I was gonna pick Finn anyway. Shout out to the young girl Ray. Um, you know. Hey, you know. while we're speaking real quick, while we're speaking of uh Catholic schools, I guess to say, you um shout out to the Archie's coach who retired today. Yeah. On the side. Which what one, Mahoney? Mahoney? That man. Yeah, has. Mahoney is retired. And oh, okay. a boy side? Greg and I faced him girl side. Multiple times. Yeah. Uh, in the state tournament. Uh good dude. Good coach. I don't know what he's gonna do next, but whatever he does, he'll be successful at it. Yeah. I, I used to I tell you, they had I never forget when they had um Duffy. Uh, he was an assistant then. Duffy out of Southie. He was the, yeah, he was the assistant. Driscoll that ended up going to Michigan, six five. Um and what? Casey. I think her name was Casey Capello. Mm -hmm. Those three were super dominant at the same time. Was that yeah. also when they had the uh, girl out of Easton too? Was it like Alana? Yeah, oh, Alana. They, yeah Alana came in after. Well, yeah, Alana came in. Duffy, Duffy, Capello, um, Capello and um, Driscoll. And what I loved about them, they didn't care what was happening in, the, in Dorchester. They come right into the D house and start chopping heads. <laughs> <laughs> and asking questions later. <laughs> asking questions later. Um, they were tough. They were tough. Yeah. All right. D five boys. Before we jump into that, Yuli, how's that BC game? They're up five. All right, cool. All right, let's go for it. Um, I'm gonna start it off, <laughs> and I'm gonna say. I know who I'm going with, and the reason why I'm going with them is for two reasons. So the first reason is, what if I, mean? I, I want to make I want to give a shout out to um the head to the coach there. Um, got to give props to Malcolm Smith because we need to get in. I wouldn't currently be in BPS without him. 
Mm-hmm. So he made, made really made that happen for me, <laughs> to even be it to be working in Boston Public Schools. So shout outs mm-hmm. to him. Um, and for me, I, I think it would be a breath of fresh air to see Malcolm pull that off, um, as well as Ellie too, um, especially for everything they did at Eastie and to bring it over. Um, that's one. Two, I want to see. I want to see New Mission get one because I'm proud to say, along with the man that's on this as well, regardless of who sits at the controls of that of that boys program, it's good for them to come back and get one because of the legacy, right? And so, what I would like, and this is a challenge to all our former guys, is I would love to see those guys there Saturday. So when New Mission does win it, they get to see the champions of old. I'm glad they have Tyreek on that on that sideline. I would love to see Asante there. Um, Bam, Shaquan Murray, Samir McDaniels will be there, Darius Davis, Charles Gunter. You know, I wish Usman Drame was home. Hopefully Osmalo Dina will show up because those guys I seen created the legacy that these young men carry. Charles and Charlie. And Charles and Charlie as well. Can't forget them. Zeke, can't forget him as well. Mm-hmm. Um, and Kevin as well. And Pedo. So a lot of those guys, I would love that's, to see. Let's not name them. <laughs> right? I would love to see all those guys there to welcome this group of young men in, into that legacy. So with all that being said, I still bleed blue and yellow. Small, small little piece. New mission, new mission by 14 on, on, on Saturday, man. Let's go. Well, you know where I stand, man. Like uh, similar to your path, I think for me, uh, I was wildly immature when I first came into and in, um into the system. And that man single-handedly like molded me and I wanna be where I am without him. Um and obviously the the fellas on the panel as well, but um but yeah, shout out to Malk and Ellie, man. Not familiar, man. You know the vibe. 02136, you know what I'm saying? My hometown. Um <laughs> it'd be great to see um your mission back on the map. Yuli. Yeah, I gotta go no mission. I feel like they're gonna play with more heart. That's it. Okay. I, I think they're gonna struggle. Go ahead. Right. Wait, you want to go? You, hold up. You yeah, go I don't last? care. I don't care. No, how do you I, go last? For what? I'll go last. I'll go last. <laughs> All I'll right. Go last. I think. I think. I think New Mission struggles early. Um, I think I'd be I'd be a fool to pick against them. And I'm not really. I'm usually a realist, but like, I want them to win more than anything else. Like, legitimately, um, to watch, it's hard. Like going after someone who was like, you know, as aggressive as we were, you know, and and then, but now like, you know, I know I was on them early, call them D five new mission, but like those kids, man, you got you, you get to these games, you start rooting for kids, and um, you know, I'm rooting for them kids, and I, you know, I, I the the fan in me wants them to win, the old man in me wants them to win, um, but the reality of it all is that I think they're gonna win. Right, I want them to win bad, and you know, like they need to get like get some more hardware. <laughs> you know, like, they're the worst. <laughs> they, they get some more hardware. You know, um, just like what is it, one for the toe, right? Like, <laughs> you know. So I'm just, I'm just. It was fun watching last night. Me and Samir and Asante went up there uh, to Worcester, and you know. Honestly, I think they're I think they got some good young talent. They got some good young talent in the seventh and eighth grade. Um so yeah, they need to they you know, our city really needs to recognize that we got some nice young pieces in the fold right now. So I'm taking the hardware. Here's just a quick disclaimer. Yeah, I want I, I agree with what Corey said, and this time around it ain't. New Mission hates the city. <laughs> it's, we want the city to love New Mission. <laughs> so we got to bury the hatchet. I know Corey agrees. We got to bury the hatchet, city of Boston. It's over. <laughs> All right. So I'll jump in. 
I wouldn't know Corey without Greg. Greg was involved with New Mission um, early on in our friendship. That's how I met Corey. Them two dudes are super important to me. Fred's from High Park. Yuli lives 20 minutes, 15 minutes away from New Mission. I'm going with New Mission. Um, I rock with the kids. I've known Malk a long, long time. And I just actually think the atmosphere is going to be predicated in their faith. I mean, uh, predicated to give them some advantages. And um, I think that the if the city shows up for the kids, and Char Charlestown's playing too so uh, on the same day, so the city should be packed. I, I remember when Corey and Greg, since you both played in the garden mul multiple times, uh, uh, the city always showed up for you guys. So if that continues, um, I got new mission by I, – I, I think it's going to be a struggle, though. I have 7-8, seven, 7-8, eight, seven, eight, but I, I think they get it done. Mm-hmm. You only need to win by one. You only need to win by one. We always say that. <laughs> right, right. I don't care what you do. I don't care what you do. I don't care if you put the referee in a straight jacket. You do what you got to do. Um, D4. What a phenomenal oof, game. It's oof, about to oof, go down oof. in D4. Yeah, it's about to get real. <laughs> oof, the king is going oof. to invade Lowell. <laughs> Ooh. And uh, I, I, th I, I think... Tonight? Game of the night, maybe. Yeah, I, I say so. Uh, I don't think so. I think I think I I think I'll start this one off too because I have heavy ties there. Um, when I left New Mission in 2015, I took a risk. Um, and I applied to Bourne High School, and the athletic director, who was the head coach of the Bourne High School um boys basketball team, Scott Ashworth, took a risk on me, and allowed me to help along with Marcel, um, come and revamp the girls' program there. And I can honestly say in three years we did that. And uh, one thing I can say that that whole town, from the moment that we got there, embraced us heavy. Not just the kids and the student body at the school, but the community. Um, from the Cape Side store down the street to right. um, the families that live close by. Uh, we even had like the older people from born that didn't know us from a hole in the wall would come out and support. And so I'm going to, I'm going to go on record as saying, I know who it, who I'm going with and that's purple and white jazz time. Let's go Scott Ashworth. Let's get one. And you mentioned, uh, oh, Greg, let me jump in real quick. You mentioned canal side, you mentioned Ashworth, even the state troopers were supporting the black dudes from Boston. I got to say that as well. We have, even we, the state troopers were coming to watch our games. And that was coming down Route 3, Route 3 off the Bourne Bridge. And so I can't wait for the for the town of Bourne to come on out. I'm going a, I'm to a come in attendance, so my former girls players will be there. I'll be there as well. Love to the town. I'm going with Bourne. Y'all already know where I'm going if you saw my Instagram post. Yeah, you're day. going Bourne. You saw you saw that you saw my crew. I w I went and watched the game of us just smack. I oddly enough, I watched the Bourne Wareham girls game the other. But y'all y'all saw my crew. You saw the least girls. You saw everybody over there. We we were smashing everybody in our time down there. So uh, I'm going with Bourne High again. I, I, like Greg said, shout out Scott Ashworth, um, first man to hire me at, from an MIAA job after my co I was coaching college basketball and high school basketball at the same time simultaneously um but ash just a super good dude super cool dude um got that magnificent elbow off the top rope if y'all didn't know <laughs> ash, ash wrestles in his spare time or used to um i gotta support them they, they've already a, played you are him. a clown for that <laughs> <laughs> i mean everybody knows the deal everybody knows the deal off the top rope ashworth that's my guy mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, born five five. All right. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm going with the uh, mass Golden State Warriors. I'm gonna go with Wareham. Um, mm. yeah, I'm gonna go with them, man. Um, I was thoroughly impressed by how they played uh, a couple weeks back. Uh, it was it was against Burke, right? When was that Emmanuel? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, they beat. No, they played Charles. They they beat. Charles they beat Charles down. Yeah, I'm gonna go with them. Um, like I was thoroughly impressed by them um, from a couple weeks back. 
So and also to uh, feel nostalgia from a couple years back when they had the uh, young boy that ended up going to UMass Dartmouth. I can't think of his name right now. Jordan Resendez. Yeah. Jordan. Yeah. 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 Jordan. Yeah. That's so a number of years ago. Jordan's yeah, the head I know. Coach so I'm, I'm just gonna support the homies' hometown because Jordan's guess... the head coach of Mass behind right now. Oh, word! That's what's up. Congrats! Yeah, for his first year. Yuli, I'm going to wear him. Hey, you see, I got wear him in a close one by two. I think it's gonna be down to the wire. Last last two minutes will decide the game. It's gonna be back and forth. No, no team is gonna build a lead over seven. That's my prediction. Okay. My heart was broken when I found out wrestling wasn't real. <laughs> oh, me too. <laughs> so, hey. with that being said, Scott, Scott Asper, I don't know. Shout he, out he, to Scott. <laughs> when my when I found out wrestling wasn't real, and then I recognized that three is better than two, three is greater than two, and I think. Why Wareham has so many problems with Mil with, with Milbert the problems that Burke had I have I predicted Burke to win it all I don't think Wareham's gonna have because I think Wareham has too many shooters and I think they're gonna make you pay uh, so I and this guy we are going with Wareham <laughs> <laughs> you and Thanos <laughs> me and me and me, me and the five rings. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Interesting. Um, D3. Oh, 617. Right. You know why I stand. Straight up. Huh. Charlestown. Ah. Let's go, you man. Straight up, man. We're Let's going, go. I'm going Let... Charlestown by far. Yo, this will be... Yo, hold on, hold on. This will be Hughes' um, third ring, right? It'll be his third ring. Yes. Hey! hey. Yo, I, like I, I love watching Charlestown play. Sounds weird coming out of my mouth, but hey, I'm BPS. <laughs> I want all our kids to win. Um, I will say before I everybody knows the pick with Charles now. There's no brainer for me, right? I think the Jalen's are tough, but Taconic was so much fun to watch. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, they were like midget versions of Charles and Charlie and they were like getting busy. Um but Charles that was just too much. Like once like once um Hugh's son Jalen gets gets a, a head full of steam, forget it. Gets to that basket. Relentless. And, he, and think, on that floor? On that yeah, floor I think he got fa I think he got faster. I think he got stronger. I think he allows his dad to coach him hard. Charlestown man just, just what it is. Like I yeah. got Charles Town. I I agree, and um, hopefully, I think Charlestown is they're gonna they're gonna they have a they have a thing. And I talked with um Coach Bunk at the LA today, and we both said the same thing. They start. It's like a feel out for them in the first quarter. I watched that game yesterday against the Conic, and it was like the Conic is very good. Shots out to them. They're tough, very scrappy, but it's like. Charlestown does this thing where they fill you out first, then they make the adjustment, and then next thing you know, you're down 15, 16. Right. You know what I mean? So um, I think that doesn't change. I also think um, I like how Hugh allows Paul Becklins and those guys to really X, X and O's it from what I've seen. I a lot of time out Paul's. Paul is a oh, shout out to Paul Becklins in him. And, you know, again, another tradition, right? So you're looking at that, which I know for certain when every time Charlestown goes to a state championship, the whole alumni comes out. Thanks. So, and I Thanks. wouldn't be shocked. It's headed by, of course, Jack O'Brien. Shouts out to him. So yeah. I know Saturday we'll see all of those former guys um, from Tony Lee to – Jay Hood from um to Ridley Johnson if he's home, which is Paul Becklin's cousin. Um, I wouldn't be shocked if Derek Coleman, he was brothers there. Um, Booby, all of those guys, I'm quite sure, will or, be in the house um, yeah. at four o'clock Saturday. Because mm -hmm. that's how Charlestown rolls. I'm picking them. I got Charlestown. It's pretty simple. I just think the two Jalen's are just too tough. Um, you know. And Hugh, 
and his staff are just super prepared. They've been preparing for weeks now for this moment. I know that personally. I got Charleston. I feel like um, it would be amazing if both city teams were to win um, on Saturday. Obviously, obviously, um, there's been a lot going on these last few weeks, and I think it would be awesome for the city to win, to have two city teams to win a state title. That would be epically amazing. I don't think I've ever seen that in my lifetime. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And I, I can we out here. I, I agree with you on that. And to see two two legacies in the building at the same time, That's my challenge. Right. I know I know I'm kind of getting long with it, but I love to see we'll be there. I would love to see Charlestown alumni too. So why not have both both two schools that created a powerhouse history in the city of Boston win on the same day? I'm with that. Years of dominance. Yeah. Thanks. There we go. Yeah, Yuli said Charlestown one word very early. Ah, uh, uh, shout out to <laughs> Charlestown. Get it done. Get it done. Get it done. I mean, they beat CM. I don't see them losing this game. I know. I ain't even bringing up, like, no disrespect to old Rochester. Y'all did the right thing. Don't be out here. Message to everybody else. Don't be out here wilding out. Yeah, let's mm -hmm. let's not have any incidents. Oh, old don't Rochester. Get, don't get on. Don't get on. Don't get on the BS. Yeah, let's not, let's so, have and don't none of y'all come up to me on Saturday because of this either. Let's get past that. Go ahead. You know, I get busy. Get, you want to get busy? I get. Hey, I broke that Let's news play. and nobody gave me credit. Where's yeah, that again? Yeah, where's Rochester again? I have to Google that. No, I'm just joking. Oh, it's, it's in Marion now. Oh, so Rochester in Marion down there. Yeah. <laughs> no, I move past what well, I ain't ducking nothing because if it was. If, I'm not if, saying it, ducking. Oh, okay, because if yeah, it was, I'm you know, like, you know. You know, Coney we action, all kind Coney of overtime action. elite or whatever. Don't, uh, folks, or whatever. Folks who support Coney actions, let them roll with the, uh, shade let room. We all up on shade room, looking crazy. Media <laughs> team, bro. <Shade laughs> no, like get out of here, man. Throw up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Molly <laughs> Catholic and Sharon, and Sharon D two, John Walsh, love him or hate him. He's he's top three. Uh, he's who, would, not who, who would hate him? Who and, hates him? Huh? I mean, I used to hate the guy, but I like him now. <laughs> um, <laughs> I never used to like him, uh, but we were kind of cool. But nice. I like cool. him now. Um, he is, I think, he he has matured. Um, he has developed a style of basketball that any kid could play in. Uh, what's great about his coaching is that he's able to adjust based on his talent, which is so hard to do. Yeah, he had big guys. He know how to feed them. When he has shooters, he know how to give them the ball. He is a tremendous coach. Top three, not three, right? Um, I don't know. I don't. I you can't say enough about this three pick he's about to get. Um, you can't. He's there's no like Sharon. Shout out to Sharon. Like you know, I got some ties out there, but like I don't. I don't know. You come this far to get this far, but you you probably won't come this far to win, and that's okay. But modern Catholic man, they 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 got it right now. They got a coach who was you know players get coaches get it hot when players get hot. Sometimes players get hot too, right? Players get hot and carry, but coaches get hot, and this dude's been hot for like ten years. Mm. You know? So like, yo, modern Catholic's gonna win, and you know what? They're gonna win seventy two to fifty four. <laughs> Yeah. Uh sorry, 72 50, 55. <laughs> they might put up, I'll go. They might put up more than uh 72, man. You remember what they did last, you know, over the last couple of years. They 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 could put up some big numbers. I got Malden Catholic running away with this. Shout out to Sharon for you know building from the bottom. They they've really done a great job of that's of an all-time great shot. That they that kid hit at UMass Boston. That's an all time. Oh, great shot. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Great shot, great shot. UMass Boston. We'll, I know we're gonna get into that next. I've had some great games over the years. I got but some yeah. words for UMass Boston before we yeah, go. Shout out to Sharon. Shout out to the town of Sharon. But I got Malden Catholic by eighteen twenty two. Yeah, they're just super tough. Yeah, I I, I think I'm gonna uh agree with you guys. I just think, you know, shouts out to Coach Walsh at Elm Alden Catholic. Um, I'm going Sharon. 
it, unfortunately, Ooh. unfortunately, for Sharon, I mean, shots out to the town of Sharon. And, you know, on both boys and girls program, they started from the ground up. So I want to give them shots out as well. But uh, modern Catholic, three P. We got to get to this. You let Fred go. I want. Sharon. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Fred. You go. We're gonna let Yuli go last. I bet. I'm. I'm going all the Catholic. Um. I, again, I know a couple of players on the team, and um, they've been pretty good these last few years. So I'm rooting for them. Um. So yeah, and Sharon. I don't know. I think maybe the the my my youthful years and my teenage year, I kept getting speeding tickets in town with Sharon. So like, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> ain't that the truth yet? Uh, <laughs> hey, I gotta go through there, man. Uh, <laughs> more realer than that. Oh, Main Street. Uh, damn, I gotta get my inspection sticker now. Uh, <laughs> Yuli, Yuli, I, I I need more from you on this. I need justification. Justification. I need justification. I I, I mean. You can argue that both these teams played hard. Uh, they both played like top ten teams multiple times. Modern Catholic had to deal with CM Zaveri, and Sharon was dealing with Franklin, Taunton, Mansfield. I think Sharon has the ability to win close games. I think that the way their games have gone in the tournament, it seems like that they're more primed. That if they're getting in a situation where they need a clutch play, I've seen them play. They can hit that clutch shot. I think that the strength of schedule, they have a really good leadership. They have they have two solid leaders on that team. Their coach is good. I I think they're gonna win. I really Sharon, like Sharon. Yuli wants some kids from Sharon to come over to Quincy College. That's what this is about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you're funny. He's recruiting without recruiting. <laughs> hey, All they right. only lost to Franklin by five. Fair. Franklin is Fair. hot. Franklin is tough. I'm mad. I, you know, I, I, I have feelings about Franklin. I'll, you know, I share that. <laughs> Frank, uh, so I, I wish I got the French triggered. <laughs> French triggered. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Here it is. Down um, two. D1. Down, down two. 1.6 on the clock. I love the back-to-back-to-back timeouts between both teams. This is a chess game, right? Um, just uh, I watched it on live while I was at another game, and I was in the building. I it watched was, it on live. It was like I was there. We jumped up. The folks I was with, we jumped up when it was quiet in the gym in Worcester, and was like, "Yo, wow!" And as soon as I went to overtime, I was like, "Yeah, buddy, get your passport. You out of here." Right. Is, I, did, I Zavera, over, Zavera yeah, was like, my like, shout out to Zavera because they were my they were my sleeper. And I I did they give someone a blueprint to get past Worcester North? Yeah, maybe. Mm. Um I'm holding I actually think I actually think it's going – I think Worcester North is going to – I don't think – I know Worcester North is going to win. I'm just trying to decide if it's going to be a blowout or not, and I'll tell you why. Sometimes, man, you need to you need to wake the beast up. When you wake the beast up, man, it becomes a, li- it becomes a little bit – you just you just need to, to shake a couple of things off. Um, I remember it happened to us at the Songus. We were running through teams like a buzzsaw. And then, you know, Brighton had a guy hit five straight threes and Ronald Mack hit five straight threes in the third quarter. We were like, yo. Samir followed out. We were like, yo. We couldn't hit a shot. We were like, yo. And then, you know, after the game after that, we were like, yo, listen, that ain't happening again. Um, they got that kind of they got that kind of heart, man. I think they're gonna find a way to win. It's just a matter if they're gonna knock these dudes out early or not. I think. I want to say the score. I think the score is going to be sixty. Um, what's the north sixty nine? Um, uh, Franklin fifty six. I, uh, I think Worcester North wins by twelve. I got a seventy six sixty four Worcester North win. I think that they're going to go up about ten, keep it between like eight and fourteen the entire game, and they're going to stop any type of run Franklin tries to make. I'm gonna go with you. Uh, 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 I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go on record as saying, um, 
like I was telling Marcel, I said, I think that Worcester North is playing for more. And I know sometimes, for me sometimes, and it takes emotion minus the, the X's and O's and the drive and the will. And something Marcel said to me the other night um, was divine intervention. Because if you watch that game, in which I I was in dead shock the whole time when Severian went up too, I was like, they, they're going to mess around and they're going to lose here. And for that to happen, and then for that play and that cut, for the big to make that cut, get the ball, and all they could do was foul versus which could have almost been a three point play. Um, at that point, I processed that game back in my head today at work, and I said, What's the North is trying to win it for somebody? And um, this is to me, I, I, I like stories. I like stories, and especially in high school sports and history. And what's the North has a story. And I think the storybook continues Sunday night. I think the score is going to be 72, 59, what's the North. And yeah, and yes, we want to see Al Petway with the with the shiny sneakers on. He had on the red suit <laughs> on Thursday. A man mm-hmm. might pop up with the all white, <laughs> white blazer with the white suit like he had last year in the white t shirt with some forces. So he we want to see the, the animation again. What's the north by 13? Al, Al's going to have the Jolly Rancher suit on. <laughs> this is going to be the toughest game that Al Petway has ever coached in his entire life against CJ. Um, this is going to be the toughest game that any of those Worcester North kids have ever played in. Franklin is not coming to lay down. This is going to be extremely hard. I was in the building. Shout out. and you know, I want to shout out someone. Shout out to JM Greek Wedding on uh, Twitter, who early in the season when I did my preseason top 10, would always give me the business. You didn't pick Franklin. You didn't pick Franklin. Franklin's loaded. I'm going to I'm going to retweet some of his tweets to me. <clears throat> this man was completely correct. <clears throat> Excuse me. He's been telling me Franklin was loaded, was good. I missed out. I didn't even actually have them in my top 13 picks, um not even as a team to watch. And uh once we got in the tournament, I picked BR to beat them and maybe in the first round and if BR did if Doug and them didn't get them, I knew they were going to race right to the championship game. Um, I think this game is going to be incredibly hard for Worcester North to win. I actually don't want to pick a winner, but because I feel like I put the entire, most of, mo, mo, I think all of you guys, um, and most of the people that watch us on notice with Worcester North, when I called it last year that they were going to win it, I think I was the first person who said day one, Worcester North's going to win it this year. Uh, I gotta, I gotta go, I gotta go with the reach with the repeat but it is not going to be easy. It's not going to be simple. It's not going to be some layup. I do not think that because the Severian game was close, that game was over. That game was finished. I, I, I've maybe not seen anything like that in recent time. One thing that comes to my mind is when Kristen, when Kristen McDonald was down in the garden, uh, Braintree was down, and they fought back. Kids fought back for her to win the game. Um, Carl put those free throws in the hoop. And I, I didn't want to say that, but Carl put those free throws in the hoop. Worcester North is playing, and when Ty Sean stepped to the line, Carl reached down from the heavens and said, I got you, Ty. I got you. And he put those in the hoop. And that, I actually almost swore. <laughs> that that stuff, to me, is super cool. I thought that was dope. I could not believe the kid hit the free throws. I'm going to be honest with you. He smoked the layup. He smoked the layup. If you put the layup in this tie game, you hit the free throw, the game's over right there. When he smoked the layup, I'm like, oh, man. Because, I mean, there was no reason for him to smoke the layup. He just completely smoked it. Got He got, you know, he got fouled, but you got to play through the contact. But when, the, as Greg said, divine intervention, man, wow. That, it, it was unreal. It was an, incredible to be there. I was so happy to be there to watch that game. Um, I don't think it's going to be easy. But just because, you know, I, I picked him a year ago, I, I, I got to go with North. I'm not going to give a, a score, but I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell Al, Amir, Ty, um, the staff. I don't think it's going to be easy. You're going to have to earn this one. You're going to have to be true champions, true champions. Um, 
which I think but, they, I, I, I think they will. But I, I, I think they, I think they are true champions. But they're gonna have to earn this game. I, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm rooting for, um, I'm rooting for North as well. Um, obviously, rest in power to to the young man that passed away a couple months ago, and obviously, shout out to his family. Um, yeah, I want to see a sea of orange and black on Saturday, straight up. A sea of you don't gotta worry about that. Saturday. Straight Wait, up, they coming. What's the yeah. comes? But what's the what's the beat? They were they were packed. That that gym was packed. Yeah. Minimize Franklin's volume of of attendance. I don't care. They're straight <laughs> up. Um, yeah, let's go north, man. Straight I up. See the of Franklin there too. I like to see champion at their best. I want to see everybody at their best. I hear you. I hear you. I hear Everybody you. at their best. Like, like I shout said, out to, I, shout I, out to Lex, though. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Lex. She did well when she was at Franklin. She did well at um uh what do you call um oh man um D2 program up in um Andover Lawrence um Mathorn. What Merrimack? 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 Yeah. Shout out to Lex. She went to Merrimack uh with sticks. So uh yeah. I'll say this. I, what's the North is a throwback to me of the past champions I've seen come out of city, come out of cities. So we we need that. We need that wave of of city kids again. And I think what's the North, Charlestown, New Mission sets the tone for that moving forward. So that's my opinion on that. Hey, real quick, I want um I'm getting the you know requests from Twitter followers. I want to shout out uh, Smith College, D3, on the D3 side. I believe they're to the championship game. I'm going to go back and look at the tweet. Yeah, the Smith College girls. Okay. Women. The, women, my bad, are to the D3 state championship game. I mean, the state, she's national championship. National championship. My bad. I'm trying to do seven things at once. It's all good. Um, national championship game, D3. Shouts out to them. Shouts out to to the Smith College women's basketball. So program. who's going all three days before we wrap up? I am. I'll be there all three days. I'll be there Saturday, Sunday. I don't know yet. Depends. I'll be there Sunday. I'm obviously you know, uh, Corey. I'm trying to move, but I'm trying to see if I could just bang out all the heavy lifting, so that way I can enjoy Saturday afternoon up and low. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going Saturday, Sunday. Saturday, I gotta work. Hopeful, but like I, I should. Oh my god, I need to be there. Um, Saturday, so I'll be there on Saturday. What am I saying? What am I doing? But I got some work to do. Um, UMass Boston. <laughs> he giving him the camera on pause before he say something. <laughs> you have such a great gym. You have such a nice facility. You have good people there. Stop overcharging the very city that hosts you. I don't care who hears. I meet with all y'all professors all the time. I meet with y'all people all the time. Thanks. Stop playing. You got I'm I am calling y'all out until we get a reasonable price to have the city championship or a playoff game at UMass Boston. I don't I think, I think the MIAA could parking. afford it. The MIAA could afford it. Fine. I think they should do away with the parking charge at the very least. Listen, that's stop right. Playing, no. Stop stop playing before we revoke your Dorchester card. I don't care what job I, I have during the day. Y'all know me. But ain't nobody coming up in there at that rate and that price. So come down off of that. Y'all ain't BU because BU try to overcharge us. I don't even speak to BU. This is the first time the, the two letters BU coming out of my mouth. Stop overcharging the very city that hosts you. So I'm saying I'm cool with y'all. I'm cool with people that work there. But stop playing with us, UMass Boston. Just stop playing. You're in now Dorchester. You're gonna, now you're going to hold you. See, I, that was another reason why I didn't go to um... To you, man, I was like, damn, I'm gonna have to pay for parking. Yeah, how much was the parking? Fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars. What? Get up out of here with that. Was it? I I could throw a football football and hit the JFK Library. Stop it. Believe it was ten. No, it's fifteen. 
It's fifteen. I didn't pay, so. And, I mean. and, and 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 that's and that's the sad part about it too, because if you don't go at to UMass and and pay fifteen, now you're skirting for parking around Harbor Point, and you're not supposed to park over there. You can get your car towed. So yeah. picture how many people might have got their car towed yesterday. You know what I'm saying? Stop, Just, stop. Well, we want we want to have games at UMass Boston, but we're fine not having them. We we clearly got our own gyms. But but y'all got then don't have Boston in y'all day if y'all gonna be out here overcharging people. Shout out to a whole lot of y'all. Y'all know who I'm talking to. But you also know who I'm talking to when I'm talking about that those prices. Cut it out. Cut it out. Anyway, hey folks, thank you for joining us. Hope y'all have a good night. Good night, people. I'm probably gonna be like ten and zero, right? Um, <laughs> In my predictions, which is I mean, fine. You... Would be, I'm okay with being wrong, right? Somebody, one of y'all want to get brave and shake my hand and say it's cool, but when y'all get brave and have a hard hard drive home, that's on you. Yeah, someone <laughs> that the first day we started doing it. It didn't turn out well for him. <laughs> for it real. It turned out well for him at a manual. Well, where, where is he at? Right? Like, <laughs> like, He's out the hospital. <laughs> chill out. <laughs> chill out. Anyway, you guys have a good night. All right. Good night, guys. Later, y'all. Yeah, peace.